Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ben Strader back with you for another episode of How Not to Be an Idiot on the Internet. So one of the things we often see talked about is connecting rods and what makes people sound silly is when they talk about how the rods are rated for a certain power level. These rods are rated for 800 horsepower. No, these are rated for 600 horsepower. The reality is that's a really dumb way to rate a connecting rod once you understand what these things have to live through. There's really two different kinds of loads that primarily affect our rod. We have compressive loads where we're trying to push this rod together. That would be your cylinder pressure when you have combustion trying to push that thing down and trying to squish that rod. Well, as you can guess, you could probably double the amount of cylinder pressure you have and it doubles the force, but it would still be pretty hard to crush that rod. Now, the other load that it sees is called tensile loads. And tensile loads happen when you're trying to pull the rod apart this way. Now that happens when your piston and your connecting rod are moving up towards the top and you get to top dead center and the piston wants to keep on going, but the rod has to stop that from happening. And so do our rod bolts and our bearings that have to take all that abuse. Well, you know, the reality is the faster you move that piston, the more tensile loads you get and the heavier that piston is, the harder it's going to be to stop it. So the truth is making power is really a function of how much cylinder pressure you make and how many RPMs you're going to turn. So that being said, I could make 400 horsepower at 5,252 RPM if I had 400 foot-pounds of torque. However, if I made uh, 200 foot-pounds of torque, but I was at 10,500 RPM, I would have half as many compressive loads, but quadruple the force because I would double the RPM and I would quadruple the force in my tensile loads. So the reality is the last thing you should be doing is talking about how many horsepower a connecting rod can handle and really how much load they can handle from the RPM that you're doing and the mass of your rotating assembly. So now you know you should not be talking about rods in terms of horsepower. And if you remember that, then you won't sound like an idiot. Hey, if you like these videos on our How Not to Be an Idiot series and you want to learn more, all you got to do is head to the website at www.efi101.com and check out all of our online training videos.